This tutorial reviews deformity correction planning in the lateral lower limb. This video of the lateral lower limb should be viewed in conjunction with the AP lower limb tutorial as the basic concepts will not be covered again here. The AP image has already been prepared with the mechanical axis deviation wizard and axis definers and the lateral view can also be assessed. This time the malorientation test or MOT wizard is selected. This has already been pre-positioned and the position is shown. Femoral head is centered, positioned with the axis line a third of the way across the condyles and across the tibial plateau with this line being approximately one fifth of the way across the plateau allowing for assessment of the anatomical axis. The ankle is also identified. Measures for normal range, the values shown by positioning the mot wizard are all represented here in the report and anything outside of the normal range is highlighted in red. As per the AP, we now can apply axis definers, remove the wizard and use the axis definers just anatomical and no mechanical this time at the hot spots to reference the different joints and diaphyseal shafts. Turning them on allows you to see a diaphyseal shaft definer and a joint definer in place. If a Cora cut is required, a right click on the Cora is made, the cut selected, unlocked and moved to an appropriate place. It is also possible to make manual cuts by right clicking a manual cut can be obtained and this is highlighted as an M cut, M1 in this case and also positioned closely against the cortex. This can be done in both views. Both the Cora and manual cuts should correspond on the anatomy as closely as possible. A cut display can be shown for the different cuts and in both views they can be linked. As each one is selected it is highlighted in yellow. The oblique plane vector diagram shows the overall angulation and translation for the two cuts joined together. It's now possible to reduce the image after using the wizard and axis definers. We choose the lateral image and expand choose reduce. The purple circles again represent the hinge points and it's important to choose the correct one associated with the cut. Then use the handle to make any angular correction. The amount of angulation can be checked here at fragment 3 and use the translation handle to produce any lengthening as appropriate to this non-angular manual cut. Overall lengthening is shown. This can also be done on the AP view. This ends the tutorial on the lateral lower limb in deformity correction.